Thank you for staying with us. You're watching News Night here on Orange News in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. Well, days after the demolition of Divine Wounds of Jesus Orphanage in Kuba district of the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja, the plight of more than 100 children has been of interest. Well, as a rise uh, correspondent for Lake Adeshuba reports, the orphans are now housed in a makeshift accommodation while the rescue operation is in progress by different groups. The ones of Jesus are now housed in a makeshift home, which is much too cramped because of the large number of children using the available space. It's quite devastating and heartbreaking to see. They must now stray from the comfortability they once knew. Our demand is shelter. Nigerians should provide shelter for us. We want our home back, Abby. Yes. We want our home back. We want our comfortability back. We're, we're, we're okay before they came to take our home away. We want our place of habitation back because we are not animals, we are Nigerians, so we are human beings, so we deserve a life, we deserve a home. This is all that is left of their once vibrant and happy 3,900 square meters compound, which housed over 150 of them. All that is left are memories of a home that was demolished while some children were writing exams and some taking an afternoon nap. And personally, I was sleeping with a child in the same room and they were already demolition so um, our mommy came and woke me up i was in shock just like every other child there some had to defecate on their body some were very very unconscious because even as adults if you if you had seen the site the heartless people they sent to come and take the place down they not even have pity on the children they were handling rough handling us they beat they beat up one of our our workers that, that was trying to beg them to um take it easy on the children so we can get some some few um things out that we can use to live after but they refuse. Although the social development secretariat offered to take them to a unity orphanage home, the children all declined to go with them. No. No. Here that there are children vulnerable with no place, definitely social development secretariat do not need anybody's permission to come in and see what is the actual position. Because should anything happen to them, we are the government arm that all the international community will come to ask, why this and why didn't we intervene? In a twist of fate, just days before the demolition, they were rejoicing over a brand new library donated by Miss Tourism Nigeria World through her Motivating African Youths Foundation. Thank you for watching for this children and I promise to always come back. I see you're happy. So if you go to the library, what book will you read? English textbook. What? Uh, what's your best subject? Teaching them is a very wonderful thing. They are good children. They learn easily. They understand whatever you are teaching them. We have a comfortable place to be able to read. We pay more attention to our upcoming exams. Uh, you know they usually say if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. And I'm sure we're going to change that narrative. And so I said to myself, how about giving them a library? And I don't know if you noticed when we're walking into the library, you see the little artwork there which states that leaders are readers. I believe that with this and many more to come, the children will be inspired into becoming greater people. Now a different like task is at hand for her as she tries to find a conducive place to rent for the now homeless orphans. The owner of the orphanage didn't know her jubilation over a new library for her children would be short-lived. And she's now lamenting over the predicament that she and her children, along with the staff, who tried to salvage what they could, now find themselves in. I'm not crying for myself because at least God has given me a house to live. I'm crying for the innocent children. 150. The demolition of the orphanage is enmeshed in controversy. The land on which the buildings were constructed has been a subject of dispute and litigation between Ezemoka and her brother-in-law, Godifo Ezegwo. In media reports, the FCDA is quoted as saying it carried out the demolition following a court order. However, our efforts to get a statement from the FCDA have proven fruitless as we've been redirected time and again with officials saying they're unavailable. This matter is before the court, and Arise News will be following this story as it unfolds.
Falakia Desuba, Abuja, Arise News. Oh, Falakia Desuba would have to say thank you so much for that report. Just heartbreaking watching that Quite movie. heartbreaking, very disappointing. Well, we'll continue to keep tabs and hope that, well, something drastic has been done.